Hi everybody, it's Jeff and Nikki from Nightshade Nook Decor. So we are getting ready to pour some new coasters. Um, this is a new color we got from Wise Bond um, Poxy, which is Emerald Shine. Emerald Shine. So we've mixed that into the deep pour epoxy already, and I think I've talked Jeff into adding a little bit of black to it to give it some pop. Just because it seems, I don't know, it doesn't seem dark and greeny enough. And I'm thinking maybe if he adds a little bit of that black, it might give it just enough depth to make it a really, really pretty color. It does have a little bit of, as you can see, that gold in it. So I'm hoping that the black will do as I'm thinking and kind of make it all pop and not dissipate the, the gold that's already in there. So we'll see. This is how we learn. It's all a game. It looks like it's changing the color of the gold, not the green. You know, the green's a little darker. The green's a little darker. Gold's a little darker, too. It is. I think I'm thinking this is right. I think this will enhance it and make it look really, really cool. I think you just need to have a little faith, hon. <laughs> so we're also, um, Jeff has the... The Silver Grace Roll Coasters here, too, that he's going to flood pour tonight. And I think he's... Are you flood pouring that table or are you waiting? Yeah, no, we're going to flood pour the uh, Grace Roll table and we're going to seal coat the uh, the Grace Roll Coasters oh, later. I, I thought so. you were waiting on the table because I thought you guys were rebuilding the shop table. Yeah, we are, but that'll be sitting over there all by itself and shouldn't be a problem. Alrighty. So I guess we're doing many projects yeah, tonight. We're multitasking. Gonna be a busy night. Hope everyone's been safe and warm through all this crazy winter weather we've been having. We were talking to my brother down in Louisiana today and he said it was what 30 degrees? <coughs> yeah. Excuse which, me. Yeah, which is he just said crazy. About 30 degrees. And said they, they were gonna get a freeze warning tonight. It was gonna go down again. Oh, that's right, because he said it had been raining a lot. Yeah, it must have been above freezing because he said they were they were gonna get a freeze warning for tonight, so and he already have been had in the two low thirties and he already had what two and a half inches of ice? Yeah, yeah, two and a half inches of sleet. Boy, it looks uh, more see, I'm liking it. Than it did before, huh? I like it. I think that is going to be some beautiful Irish type coasters yeah, there. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we were trying to pick colors and Jeff let me pick. I feel like he kind of made me pick. Or let me pick. <laughs> And I was thinking the green would be good because, you know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So his new trowel arrived today, which I'll move that out of your way. And this is the Exotherm Form, the HDPE re No Seal Reusable Coaster Form that we're using, which I love this thing. And what is that oak that you have in there? I believe it's maple. Maple? See, I'm agreeing with me. I like that color. You're agreeing with you? I'm agreeing with me. <laughs> you may not be agreeing with me, but I like that. I think that's going to be kind of cool. I mean, you're still pouring, so as you pour, the color's going to change because it's going to get deeper in there. But I think this is going to be a very pretty coaster set. Oh, you gotta level it. I can tell already that I need to put a shim under there. Yeah, I like this color. It's different. So this is part of the sample colors that we had gotten from uh, Wise Bond Epoxy. Those arrived today, and there was yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. How many colors did you get? Uh, ten pack. Ten pack. So we're just going to keep playing with these colors um, as we run through all of them to see, you know, what they look like before we point. It's going to be a lot of coasters coming out of these new colors because we'd rather practice on coasters than yeah. practice on cutting boards right. or tape, let alone tables. Right. We find out we don't like it. We'd rather find out in a small, small arena. Well, yeah, but part of your logic, too, is if we don't like the coasters or we don't want to sell them, we'll just give them to the kids. Right. <laughs> Look, kids, you get a coaster set. <laughs> ah, 
don't know. I think it's pretty. I think it's got a neat, I don't know, kind of lagoony green with that gold in there. Yeah, I was surprised to, to see that much gold in it. I wasn't expecting. That must be the shine in the emerald shine. It right? must be, yeah. yeah. I was not expecting to see so much so much gold. Let's get the bubbles out and then we'll play with the I was going to say, yeah, once you get the bubbles out, we'll see what the color looks a little bit more like. <clears throat> but I think it will be very, very cool. I don't know. I like it. What do you guys think? I think it's a neat color. You're going to swirl so I can see what it'll look like when it swirls? Yeah. It's definitely unique. I still don't regret putting the black in it. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think it would have looked better without it? I don't know. I'm, I'm indifferent. You're indifferent. I'm just a little surprised at how much gold there is. Yeah, there's a lot of gold in there. Yeah. But I think it's a neat color. I, li I like the contrast in gold and green. And against a lighter board, I think that looks nice. And the, it's weird because the green is the base color, but really what's popping, you know, what you're getting is gold, you know? Yeah, yeah there's a lot of gold in there. Well, that's kind of why when I saw the tiger's eye color, I was kind of like, ooh, I want to try that. But I think we need a black walnut yeah, coaster I for the tiger's would, eye. Yeah, I think that would go better against a darker wood. I don't know. I'm happy with it. Okay. Oh, especially when you did that little swirly thing, which I know is not going to stay, but I like that. <laughs> so there so, it is, folks. Emerald Shine by... Uh, Wise Bond Epoxy. This is their powder. So are you going to do the seal coat on, on camera? Are you doing that live too? Yeah, but I'm not prepared to do that. The epoxy's oh. not mixed or anything. I thought the one for the coasters was already mixed. Mm, I was wrong. This is the one for the coasters. No, no, no. The, oh, you're saying the flood pour on that. The yeah. seal coat, yeah. No, but I could mix it up. only takes a couple minutes if you want to keep talking there. If I want to babble at you guys, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I like that. It seems like a, it seems like it has a little blue in it. It could be the color of the shop lights. No, I think it was the black that changed it. It changed it. Yeah, it was more more of a green before we added the black to it. Well, I'm still happy with it. All right, so you are mixing up. So these are the black silver coasters that we had made, what was that, like a week or so ago? Yeah, we, we did it along with the table pour. Well, that's what I was going to say. It was, it was matching the, the, the black same, walnut table. Yeah, it's the same epoxy. <clears throat> so these coasters came out nice. I like how that one down there is really, really unique. It's an otter shape. I mean, they're all a little, a little different, but that one really kind of stands out. And these are going with that table, correct? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Well, just checking. That's what I had understood to be true. So what he's doing now is just mixing up the tabletop epoxy, um, which is... Part A and part B. And they're equal ratios? Yeah, tabletop is one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm using four ounces of resin and four ounces of hardener. So he's already cut these, sanded them, and you've gone around the edges and routered them, which they look really nice. I really like the routering job you did on that table. Oh, I think yeah. that's amazing, the way you did that bevel edge. Yeah. I think that turned out really cool, and that table is just absolutely beautiful. Not right now, because it's scuffed. Well, no. <laughs> but it will be when we do the flood pour. But th that black walnut really popped against that silver gray. You think I'd be sick of seeing silver gray, because we do it a lot, but I'm not. It looks really, really a little different and pretty every time you do it. I suppose you want some gloves. 
So he's just mixing up the epoxy. He has to mix that for a few minutes to uh, to get it to set up. Got to make sure that the part A and the part B are thoroughly mixed, otherwise it won't set up and it won't cure. It'll just be It'll goo. It'll just be a gooey mess. So you have to really make sure you scrape the bowl and scrape the cup here and scrape the bottom and really get a good stir on it. All right. I don't know that I have much to babble about. <laughs> Normally I'm babbly. I got nothing today. I should have let Clancy in the shop. <laughs> but I've been a little hesitant to do that since uh, the epoxy fur thing. Which wasn't bad. It sounds like it's bad. He just had a tiny bit of epoxy stuck in his fur that I had to use vinegar to get it out. <laughs> but I felt bad for him because he was scared of the cotton ball. <laughs> not the vinegar, not the process. It was the cotton ball that was scary. That's our brave Clancy. So this, as we've already seen, the seal coat done on the black walnut gray swirl table. It's pretty much going to be the same effect, although... It'll have a different um, <clears throat> texture to the top of it, unlike the, the swirl table, because I don't know that you swirled this one up that much for the coasters. Um, yeah, yeah, you can tell it's got a swirl in it. See, it's kind of hard for me to tell what's sanded, like, in what's swirled. Yeah, you'll see in a second when the epoxy hits it. All right. <clears throat> so what he does is a little seal coat um, with the epoxy on top of all of them and that just kind of seals the wood and actually makes the color on the wood pop in the epoxy. Yeah, the wood will get a little darker as the epoxy soaks it up. Or as the wood actually soaks up the epoxy rather. And what we're doing here is the seal coat and is to seal the grain on the wood so that um, when we do our flood pour we don't get any air bubbles in our flood pour. So really the whole purpose of this here and right now is just to just to get them all sealed. When, when this is dry, I would have to scuff them again with 220, and then we go back over and, and do the actual flood pour on them. And I was going to say, we don't need to do a live for the seal coat on the black walnut table unless no, you want to. Much, pretty much what we've already done. It's, it's the same thing as we did with the, with the, seal, with coat. the seal coat. It's just a lot more epoxy. <clears throat> and we have a little left over, which I can use on that seal coat or on that flood pour. Okay. So, So he's just going around the edges, making sure that he evens it all out and all of it gets covered with the epoxy. Except for the bottom. The bottom will get a polyurethane coat on, the, on it once it's all done and cured. Is this maple too? I don't remember. Yeah, it's all maple. It's all maple? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, it's not the same kind of swirl as it is on the table. It's, it's smaller swirls because it's right. a smaller piece. <clears throat> but it's swirls. It's not super matchy, which is what I was wondering. Is it super matchy? And it's well, not. It's the same. It's the same. Po it's the same epoxy. It's the same. It came from the same bucket. It's the same mix. The only thing different is it's it, it went in a smaller form. This was this epoxy was actually left over from the table pour, mm. and we poured it right into the coaster for him. Well, I think when it's in the deeper form like that, it has a tendency to... It changes a little. It looks different, right? Yeah. Because it's deeper. It's exactly. It's almost two inches <clears throat> thick. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're pretty. I like that they're not matchy-matchy. Because why would you want coasters that look exactly the same, which is also why this is maple and that's black walnut. I think that'll be a nice contrast. Yeah. Right, otherwise you'd put them on the table and not even see them, right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that they're different. I think it's cool. Yep. Oh, it's just some pretty coasters. Got a little air bubbles in there. But they're nice. 
So once he's done doing this, he'll just go through and tap them to level out the epoxy and then go over them with the torch to get the air bubbles out, right? And then you just mm -hmm. leave them be until they're until that's dry and then you'll do the flood coat on them. Yep. Sand off the bottom of the flood coats and a seal pour and then polyurethane it and you're done. Yep. You know, I say that like it's nothing. It's so mm -hmm. many little steps. <laughs> you say that like it takes five hours. <laughs> really, it's three or four days. <laughs> it is. It's quite a process going through and making these coasters. I appreciate you doing that. <laughs> but you know, not everyone can say they have like hand poured coasters. <laughs> I think they're kind of cool. I'm already excited to see what those green ones are going to look like when they're all done. So what he's doing tapping now is just um, breaking is, a surface tension. Yeah, this is to break the surface tension <coughs> so that the uh, epoxy will lay flat. See, he thinks I don't listen. <laughs> I think he actually thinks that my questions are my questions where I'm just asking questions for you guys. Ooh. Rick says those are sharp and fit all types of modern decor. <laughs> it's true. There's our marketing personnel. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Rick was a big fan of the... Uh, the table, right? No, well... No, he was a big fan of the um, metallic earth color, the brown. Oh, those are so yeah, pretty. those are so sharp. Okay, I need the torch next to you there. Okay. There you go. Get torchy. Thank you. I should have Rick write my descriptions for the website for the products. <laughs> I might just steal that line. Fits all type of modern decor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like those. Those are, they're unique. Yeah, they came out really nice. <laughs> he just LOL'd me. <laughs> they're very modern and fit most decor. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to have to say that when I share this post. That is about it. All right. <clears throat> I like them. I think it's cool. Yeah, they came out nice. And uh, obviously the, the table looks a lot like this. Yeah, looks yeah, it really like does. more like this poster than than any other coaster. It really does. Yeah, they came out really nice. Uh, I, I like that color, you know. I mean, it's a little overdone. We're kind of, we've done it a million times, but it always turns out nice, you know. It does. So I'm very happy with that. And with those green coasters, I think that's going to be awesome. I don't know where that just came from. Oh, the fan blew some dust over here. Oh. But, like I said, this is our... Uh, this yeah, you see that coat. getting wiped on his pants? That never yeah. comes out, by the way. <laughs> so, um, if something were to fall in this, like I, you know, like just now, and I pick it out, it doesn't quite matter because this is the seal coat. They will be sanded, and then they'll be blood coated. So, this um, this coat's a little more forgiving. All right. Well, I don't think I have anything else, do you? Nope, I don't have anything else. I need to mix up more epoxy so we can do the... Uh, the flood coat on the table? The flood coat on the table, so I'm going to do that. Frank and says they look cool. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, those green ones are going to look really cool, too, when he's done. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and share our videos, and you guys have a great night.